Um, What's the hardest thing so far? Is there anything? Nothing's been hard. I've, okay. quit, I've quit alcohol. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You know, it's surprising to see that he left alcohol so easily. Alhamdulillah, because when it comes to alcohol and gambling, these are two things that can be very, very addictive. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted to prevent the Muslims from taking alcohol and playing gambling, you know, it came in stages, in fact, four different stages. It is not an easy thing to tell a people that are very, very addictive to something to just stop. It is not easy, you know, and Allah took his time and made it easy for them, subhanAllah. That at the end of the day, they all said, we abstain, we abstain. They all surrendered and uh, abstained from playing gambling and also taking alcohol. And this is how it came. First, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَيَسْأَلُونَكَ أَنِ الْخَمْرِ وَالْمَيْسِرِ They asked you, O Muhammad, regarding khamr, alcohol, wal-maysir, and gambling. Kul fihima, tell them in it, within these two, إِثْمٌ kabirun is a great evil, is a great sin. وَمَنَافِعُ لِلنَّاسِ And also you would find benefit within this two. You would find benefit for the people. وَإِثْمُهُمَا أَكْبَرُ مِنْ نَفْعِهِمَا And the sin or this evil within these two is greater than the benefit you could find. So now, after some times, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed, now this is the second stage. Allah said, يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا لَا تَقْرَبُوا الصَّلَاةَ وَأَنْتُمْ سُكَارَ حَتَّى تَعْلَمُوا مَا تَقُولُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, O you who have believed, يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا لَا تَقْرَبُوا الصَّلَاةَ Do not come close to salah, to prayers. وَأَنْتُمْ سُكَارَ When you are intoxicated, do not come close to prayers. حَتَّى Until تَعْلَمُوا مَا تَقُولُونَ Until you know what you're saying. Because when you get drunk, you no longer know what you're saying. You no longer know anything that happens within you. So do not come close to salah until you know what you're saying. Until you're back to your senses. Now they no longer take it every now and then because they are cautious of the salah. Now this is the third stage. Allah then said in Surah Al Maidah, Ya ayuha ladina amanu innama al khamru wal maisir wal ansab wal azlamu rijisum min amal shaitan. Allah subhanahu wa taala said regarding alcohol and also gambling and some other things. Allah subhanahu wa taala said rijisum min amal shaitan that these things are an abomination. From the works or from the handiwork of the devil, of Satan. So, فَجِتَنِبُوهُ Avoid it, shun it, go away from it. لَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ So you may be successful. Now the Sahabas, the companions of the Prophet have it now in mind that these things are the works of Shaitan. They are the works of the devil. So it is better we abstain from it. It is better we avoid these things. So we may be successful. Then finally, the verse following this particular verse which is verse 91 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said إِنَّمَا يُلِيدُ الشَّيْطَانُ أَنْ يُوْكِعَ بَيْنَكُمُ الْعَدَاوَةَ وَالْبَغْضَاءَ that verily indeed what the devil wants to do is what to cause hatred and enmity and animosity between you فِي الْخَمْرِ وَالْمَيْسِرِ through what? through khamr alcohol والميسر and also gambling وَيُصَدَّكُمْ عَنْ ذِكْرِ اللَّهِ and then prevent you from the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala وَعَنِ الصَّلَاةِ and also prevent you from salah then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said فَهَلْ أَنْتُمْ مُنْتَهُونَ then wouldn't you abstain wouldn't you abstain okay so this is the plan of shaitan shaitan really wants to use these two things alcohol and gambling to cause enmity and hatred within the companions then not just that also prevent them from what the remembrance of Allah and from salah when you're intoxicated you won't be able to remember Allah you will think you are at the top of the world and when you are so addicted to gambling what comes to mind is how do you make your next money how do you make these we've seen millionaires become beggars on the streets as a result of gambling they gambled their life away and now they are beggars on the streets so at the end of the day, Allah said, فَهَلْ أَنْتُمْ مُنْتَهُونَ Wouldn't you abstain? Then the companions raised their hands and say, we abstain, we abstain. And this is how um, the whole thing of alcohol became prohibited in Islam. Till date. And in fact, there are narrations that said, when this was prevented, you know, when it was finally made haram, the street of Medina was flowing with alcohol. Flowing with alcohol. Everybody 
pores through the alcohol away because it started little by little and now they've gotten to that stage that it is easy for them to abandon alcohol and they did alhamdulillah may Allah strengthen and retreat and may Allah guide him to the right path and guide us to the right path Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh